going on? Hope everyone's having a great um, great day so far. Just wait for people to get in here. Ah, I see people in the chat already. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, hey. All right, guys, I'm just taking a drink of my drink. Waiting for you guys to get in here now. I can see a few of you in here already. I'm going to get started shortly. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Let me know where you're from. Comment in the uh, comment section. Let me know where you're from in the live chat. Just say, like, you know, Houston, whatever. The New Division Dweller. Hello. How's it going, Steph? Um, yeah, looks good. Just gonna test something. Ah, cool. Wiz, how's it going? How's it going? Susan, good to have you here. Melissa, how are you? Danary, Gulf Port, Mississippi. Missy here. <laughs> awesome. Love it. Hope you guys are great today. Hope you guys are having, a, having an awesome day. Um, big shout out to my fingernails because I finally got polished. I got pink and black. It's, it's super dope. So, hi from Belgium. Good. This isn't where I park my car. Alex, this, this guy is my heterosexual life partner. This is Alex Watts. If you follow Alex Watts' blog on Instagram and and. Everywhere else, he'll be so happy. Literally, this guy tours with me when we do like live talks all around the world. He literally is my airline pillow. So uh, big up to Alex. Uh, I can't seem to remove him from my screen. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Guys, good. Monty, how's it going? Yeah, good. Oklahoma City. Good to see you guys here. Okay, guys. So basically, I've been doing these like webinars and I've been doing these educational things for you know parents of kids on the autism spectrum and also autistic people learn from these too because you know it's part and parcel of the same thing but the cool thing about it was that um i had loads of parents like i've done two of these now the same one but twice and people still missed it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do them a few times to make sure that i reach you guys you guys get the content you get the stuff that i want to um uh you know teach you and stuff like that and i'm super excited about it so today we're running over my um my master class i'd say it's a master class on three easy steps for you to create stronger understanding and accommodations for autistic children without worrying uh you know without you having worry or anxiety it's basically the ultimate guide to increasing autism understanding and this is very exclusive to me and my team and what we're doing here thanks melissa love it cornwall hey how's it going jane so we're going to get started right now, and I'm pumped about it, guys. I'm pumped. Thank you guys for all uh, tuning in and stuff like that. Well, hey, here we go. Um, so let me get my notes up here. Why is this? <laughs> it always does this. Ah! Okay, guys, hold on. I don't know why it does this. Why is it doing? Why is it doing this? Anybody know? Oh, there you go. Okay. Everyone see the? Everyone see the presentation? Okay. Hi, Paul. I'm from Virginia. I have Asperger's too. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, Melissa. Cool. Okay, guys. So basically this whole one, like, and this is the thing, like, I know people have like, you know, how many webinars have you attended, right? And maybe you've done loads of webinar stuff before and realized like, oh, none of it works. And, uh, you know, I've tried and it didn't work. And I've tried to implement these things in my life and my kid's life and it didn't really work. And I get it. And those things aren't your fault. You know, sometimes, you know, you, you learn something from somebody that maybe hasn't really done the research or have never lived the experience. Well, I'm here to tell you, and I'm happy to tell you that I am an autistic person. 36 years of experience, going to share everything um, in a condensed three-step formula with you guys right now. I'm very pumped about this. So, Ames Global, these guys, these guys, these guys are good friends of mine. Ames Global are amazing. Definitely give them a follow if you get a chance. They do some amazing work, and the content is fire. Okay, so guys, let's go through this. Oh, that's my thingy jig. Okay, here are the three easy steps. Okay, this is what we're going to learn today. This is a picture of me uh, in the autism show in Manchester. Super dope. I loved every single person I, I, I came in contact with. They were, they were amazing. Um, and the first step we're talking about is how to solve anger issues within autism. We're going to get really into that. Vancouver, BC, what's going on, dude? Step two is how to increase communication with an autistic child. Super interesting. And step three is the top hacks to a successful shopping trip you need, right? And I know there's autism parents out there, right? shopping trips, grocery store, like runs, you name it. 
I got you. I got you back. And this is another thing. I just want to say, like, you know, autism parents get so much slack for being parents of, you know, autistic people. And, like, you're not catering their needs. And you get backhand slap from the community. Well, I'm here to tell you that I really appreciate you. You're doing a fantastic job. Stay strong. Nobody knows how difficult it is than you. And that's amazing. So thank you so much for, for being here and doing all this. All right. Let's get into it. Enough of all the soppy stuff. I'm going to start crying. And I'm not really. I rarely cry. Weird, isn't it? Also, I burnt my head, guys. I had sunburn here. And then I had a hat on here. So there's white. And then there's, well, now brownish. <laughs> Struggle with my autistic son. He has PDA. He destroys everything. Yeah. See, Ben absolutely just topped it there, man. You know, this guy, he's living day in, day out. And, and, you know, sometimes it's challenging. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I don't think that the community should give him a backhand slap. So I'm here to support you, dude. All right. So. Here we go. About me. This is kind of how I got started and what all this is about. So anybody who's new around here and has not seen me before, or maybe you're coming across the stream for the first time and, um, you know, you want to know a little bit about me. This is a picture of me when I was a young boy, just lining up my toys because obviously I'm on the autism spectrum. My name is Daniel Jones. I was diagnosed autistic at the age of 26. Recently had an updated diagnosis uh, because I had Asperger's syndrome, but it's been updated. I actually also have ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia. So if I'm talking really fast and slurring some words, I do apologize. You can always slow this video down afterwards when it's re-uploaded. Um, I struggled my entire life through high school with family members, parties, you name it. You know, this is me as a teenager with sunglasses on, on and headphones in, you know, just trying to block out some of that sensory input, right? So I've lived it, right? But I turned it all around. Um, I, I honestly thought that struggling through high school, struggling through trying to get a job and doing all stuff was not for me. But after a diagnosis, realizing my potential and realizing I had 26 years of like, hey, I just had 26 years without a diagnosis and I can like do anything. So I turned it all around. I'm a international best-selling author in three languages. And I'm writing my second book as well. And that's a published author. Um, and I have a bachelor's degree in chemistry, um, bachelor of science, which is pretty cool. So loving that. What are people from Cornwall? That's awesome. Um, so I started on YouTube because I realized that, you know, when I was diagnosed, I went online and I don't know if any of you guys get this, but like, um, uh, when I was, um, when I was first diagnosed, I went onto YouTube to try and figure out like, you know, is there information out here that I can watch in video format? Because oh, I'm going to close my window because there's some rowdy kids outside. And uh, one of the things that, that really struck me was that there was a lot of like written content, like blogs and stuff like that, but there was nothing on YouTube. And I thought, well, hey, you know, maybe I could help. So I decided to start a YouTube channel and see if I could help people um, and do all this stuff. Here's the picture of me I was talking about, and there's the other picture of me. These are my toys lined up here. So this is kind of a little bit of an overview of me, just so you get, um, you know, how, how to uh, get where I'm coming from. But the thing that really made me think of everything is that I had this point in my life. I was struggling, like literally, dudes, like I thought I'm not going to amount to anything. Um, I I'm not going to do anything. You know, I can't get any grades. The teachers don't understand me. But I decided that I would apply the things that I learned growing up and how I survived 26 years and turn it into my focus. And I it, obviously, I'm a dyslexic author, a best-selling international dyslexic author. Like, that doesn't happen, right? And uh, I've got a bachelor's degree in chemistry. You know, how did I do this? And starting the YouTube channel and advocating for autism, right? So there we go. A little bit about me. So, um, yeah, pretty much my journey was, I was just like you, this is basically me. This is one of the things I love doing. I love going to VR. This is virtual reality. I love it. My whole team and I work, work in virtual reality. I love it. But, you know, I felt lost and confused. Basically, there was no information that was um, to help me. I felt completely lost. I was like, oh, my God. Like, wh when am I going to get a break? You know, there was no information out there that I could relate to, no information that, like, you know, my parents could understand on a level where I was feeling, you know, stressed or whatever. And so um, it all changed, basically, when I decided that I would share my experience and the things that I had learned and dealt with over the years and how I managed to survive those times without going completely insane. And uh, yeah, I had 26 years of coping me mechanisms and I thought I can do this. And if I can do it, you guys can do it. You can learn what I have um, managed to create, you know, in the, all the time I felt lost and confused because I know those parents out there feel confused, feel lost. Right. And yeah. And uh, that's it. And I, and I get it. I get it. So, Moving on, can talk about some of the frameworks we're going to cover right now. We're going to be really quick as well. I'm not going to keep. I'm not going to keep you guys for much long on this webinar because you know who's got time to spend hours and hours on a webinar, right? I'm not going to do that. Hey, from Egypt, that's awesome. Um, okay, so the framework is the uh, the first one is how to solve anger issues. We're going to talk about fear and not anger. We're going to be confronting fear. This is how we uh, sort this out. And step two is how to increase communication. Uh, talking about pairing symbols and drawing. And then step three is the top 
of hacks to successful shopping trips. I got this thing called the sandwich technique, and uh, we're going to talk about that, and, and maybe a little. We're going to touch a little bit on diarrhea triggers. So that's kind of cool. Really excited about this. Really cool graphics. I love this cheesy uh, <laughs> presentation I'm doing, but it's the best way for me to communicate to you guys through symbols. So let's go for the first one. Okay, I got a question for anybody. Everybody, not anybody, everybody. Um, you know, how how often do you feel that either you are angry or your autistic child is angry, like just angry, like angry outbursts? I want to see a show of hands. Say, Dan, me, if you if you've experienced this, I'll just put like a plus one into the into the little chat box there. Because on a daily basis, I have what seems to be anger outbursts. Like I have an anger management issue, right? And this is really important when we're dealing with autism. People think that autistic people have anger management issues. Okay. I want to know. Give me a show. Give me a show of Dan. Yes, I I understand. Or just give me a heck yes in the chat if you've come across anger issues with an autism. Right? Plus one. There we go. Me. Got it. Yeah. Totally. Often daily. Yeah. See. Okay. Let me tell you something really interesting about this. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit delayed here. The chat is coming through like a little bit later. Let me let me tell you something about it. There is not an anger issue with an autism, and you'll be like Dan. What are you talking about? My kid just broke three TVs. <laughs> there isn't an anger issue with an autism. What we have with autism is we have uh, a fear issue, right? And this this framework is called um, you know eliminating anger in autism because it's all because of fear. Now let me let me go through this. Um, I just want to. Yeah, if you take my okay, I was trying to okay. So basically, this is what happened. I was struggling my ass off like literally like i'm angry you know up and down my mood issues and all this kind of stuff and i was like why am i i feel like i'm a really calm person i love to help people i i just love chilling out you know like why does everybody perceive me as being angry why do i have anger issues and my girlfriend was like dude you have like such bad anger issues and all this stuff and i was like oh my god so i got an updated diagnosis and during the diagnosis process the guy who was assessing me was like dude you're not you're not an angry person you're a fearful person you have fear now, back in the days when we were hunter gatherers, um, big shout out to the, the OGs there, you know, we'd be like covering planes and planes and planes of the earth, which is called Pangea back in the day. Bigger points to anybody who knows that. Anthropology, you guys rock. And so, like, all, all of those times, we'd be faced with crazy threats like glaciers, you know, ice ages, saber toothed tigers, and stuff like that. And so, we'd be in this like really kind of adrenaline ridden moment because we're fearful of the thing that was in front of us or the event that we were in. And we'd run and we'd hide and we'd panic. And that panic would turn into anger and worry because we didn't know what to do and it would stress us out. <clears throat> that is what autistic people feel like on a daily basis. There is a, a biological issue or, or condition within autism that you are constantly fearful of reality because the communication part to understand what is real and what is happening is different from what you're actually inputting sensory-wise or inputting uh, data-wise. So when people say like autistic people are angry, they're not, they're fearful. They feel just as scared as our ancestors would be running from a saber-toothed tiger as you do when you go to the store and they haven't got the bread you want, right? It's not anger, it's fear. So now we know the basics, right? How do we, how do we overcome that, right? So <clears throat> that's how I knew that this was key to solving this. So how to eliminate the anger. So first thing we've got to do is think about how, how do we eliminate anger? Okay, the first thing we need to do is have um, a validation of the person's feeling. This is what you don't do. If somebody's like freaking out, right, and seems to be angry, you don't say, dude, calm down. You're okay. Everything's fine. That doesn't work. What you do is you go, oh, I understand that you feel like this. Why don't we? It's the whole yes and thing. Like. I understand what you're doing, so why don't I contribute towards it? What you're looking for is a contribution to the situation to elevate it to a different status. So how we do this is if someone is, so if I'm freaking out, right, and I'm like feeling really, really angry, get myself out of that situation. Pull me away from that situation. Let's move it because it's the situation that is causing this sensory stimuli that's causing me to go back to being a, you know, anthropological kind of hominid and getting really fearfully angry. Now, if you move uh, myself out of that situation and go to my car, put the aircon on and play some music, I'm like, okay, and I start to chill out. I start to relax. But the first thing, the first key indicator is that you have to acknowledge that what is happening is valid for that person. You can't dismiss it. So validate the situation, validate the person in that situation, then suggest the movement of that person to somewhere else, like i.e. the car, or, i.e. Uh, you know, go somewhere else, or move situation, or go to the store, go outside of the store, whatever the situation you're in, do the exact opposite, right? 
because you'll balance out what's going on. This is key. You guys are going to like be blown away when you try this. It's, it's crazy. And another thing is, let, let me tell you about something that if you're an adult like myself and you're on the spectrum and you're, um, and you're in an angered situation, angered situation, but you're fearful situation, and you want to get out of the situation, what I do is like I walk upstairs and I lay on my bed and I, I think to myself, look, I'm safe because I'm in my house. And I tell myself I'm safe because I'm in my house. There's nothing to be fearful of. I take a couple of deep breaths and I relax in that moment. And then I start over again and I start to kind of go, okay, I'm going to stand up. I'm going to go downstairs. And I'm going to try again. It's all about trying. If we don't understand where the, the, the difficulties lie, then how do we expect to go past that in a, in a, in a more neutral sense to kind of overcome this, right? Uh, no, I'm not from Cardiff. I'm from North Wales, which is uh, Anglesey up in North Wales, which is the exact opposite end of Wales. <laughs> so Cardiff is in South Wales. I'm in North Wales. But yes, um, I am Welsh. So that is the, uh, the how to successfully solve the anger issue within autism because it's not anger, it's fear. You guys, you just learned something amazing. Okay, so this is a little kind of statement from somebody who who I've taught you know, and I coached. And so someone basically said, like, they reached out to me a few years ago when the son was diagnosed and I've basically been a light for them, gotten through some understanding for him and making his world more um, better suited to him and helping him thrive and basically saying that he's in the best place of his life right now, surrounded by people who he loves and accept him. This is amazing. This stuff gets me out of bed in the morning. This is a result of somebody kind of coming to me and saying, hey, Dan, I need some help. Me helping them directly and this is what happened right I, I i i you can't understand how much i love helping people like it's my goal i was doing a seminar today and they said to me like dan what is like the thing what is your goal what's your thing i said i want to help as many people as possible how do i do that you know like that's the thing i get up every day and i think how can i how can i you know move mountains for people how can i change their lives for the better you know all about this and it's not just in autism i've got huge plans i want to do with all kinds of crazy stuff but Right now, we're talking about autism, and you know, my main kind of focus of interest is this. So, just so you know, you're in safe hands. These hands that have fingernails painted. <laughs> okay, guys, go back to the presentation. I'm sitting here talking about my fingernails. Okay, so this is the uh, the second one we're going to talk about here. I'm just going to take a quick drink. Big shout out to anybody uh, who somebody who's a uh, I have Welsh in me. Ah, oh, Ames Global. Tell me that they help them a lot. You guys are amazing. Big loves to these guys. Honestly, these guys, true friends. Um, uh, who we got here now? Melberry Cuffin. Whoop, whoop. How's it going? All right. So let's go back to, okay. So how to increase communication with your autistic child, right? So we're going to talk about the framework here, which is pairing the parent. Now, you guys, I have to tell you the story about this. This is absolutely fantastic. I was coaching a client of mine, um, a Dr. Ali. She's an absolute rocket, love her to pieces, and she's an absolute babe. Great woman. You know, she's a great laugh and a good friend of mine, bless her. So she came to me in the middle of lockdown because uh, COVID was rife, you know, lockdown everywhere, and everyone was like, you know, doing everything online. And so she comes to me, she's like, damn, I'm like, what? She's like, I've got, basically her job is to um, uh, be in therapy sessions one-on-one -on -one with autistic kids, right? Uh, or autistic kind of aging teens or maybe tweens as well. And so she's like, dude, like, I can't get them on Zoom for more than like five minutes because they're just like disappearing. And I've got to do an hour session with these kids, you know, and I'm like, oh my God. So she's like, how do I do this? I said to her, okay, well, let me think about it. You know, you're trying to go on Zoom and these kids don't really go on Zoom. Look, every parent out there, if you try to get your kid on an hour long Zoom call, imagine what, look what it was like in school when it has to do academia, let alone therapy, dude, this is crazy. So I said to her, do they play Minecraft and do they play Roblox? She said, yeah, they play Minecraft. I said, okay. But the thing you need to do is go home. You need to buy Minecraft, set up an account, ask them for server access to the servers they're on and pair up with them in the game and conduct your session in Minecraft one-on-one -on -one with them in a creative mode game. A week later, I get this message from Ali. And this is on my website, by the way. You can watch this video testimonial. She's like, dude, you've just changed the landscape of my business. I had the best session I've ever had with these kids. And it wasn't one-to-one. -one, it wasn't over Zoom. It was in Minecraft. And she just it just blew her mind, right? It blew her mind. Because what was happening, there was a few things happening. I went into the full, full details of what was happening. But mainly what was happening is that the kid or the person in question who needed therapy is here at this level and they're engaging here at this level. Ali was up here trying to pull them up and it's not going to happen because autistic people are hyperly focused on the thing they're doing and you ain't going to do nothing about it. So she came down to their level, got into their game and they were okay. Great. They had a great session. They opened up, they talked because they were in control. They were in an environment they loved. That is the key. So if we go back to this, 
how would you do it? You get on your child's level to communicate. So you need to start pairing. In, in academia, they call it pairing with your child, right? And the, uh, oh, Star Raven, thank you so much. That's absolutely amazing. Um, I'd love to see comments like this. You are a hero. Never let anybody tell you anything otherwise. Okay, amazing. And uh, so in terms of uh, getting to do this, I'll give you another example. If your kid is, you know, sitting down and playing computer games or on their iPad, every kid's got an iPad, right? And you want them to like do something. You need, it's like, so you're like, hey, child, I need to um, ask you to uh, come and get ready for dinner. It's never going to happen. The kid's just going to ignore you to high heck. Everyone thinks that like autistic people are deaf for the first like, couple of years of life because they're just so zoned into something else, right? And they're like, you don't listen to me. It's not about not listening, okay? It's about getting to their level. So if your kid's sitting there playing Minecraft, right, or on an iPad watching YouTube videos, sit right next to them and engage with what they're doing. Because parents, look, you know, think about it. Think about this, okay? You're a mom, you're a dad, you're stressed out your face, you're getting the kids ready for school, you're getting the, you're getting the house cleaned, you're, you're sorting out dinner, you're making sure everyone's got, like, clothes ready, you're cleaning the house, you're a woman at the end of the day or a, or a man at the end of the day, and you've got your own things going on, you have friends, you have all this stuff going on. You want some time as well. It's hard to forget that you're up here and, you know, somebody else is down here or you're down here and your kids is up here. It's hard to, to, to remember that. It's easy to forget so what you need to do is is get down to their level go on the go get on the ipad of them engage with what they're doing get interested in the thing they're interested in you know my kid's interested in sirens like air raid sirens seriously dude like so i have to get interested in air i know all the names of air raid sirens by the way honestly dude i didn't even know it was like different air raid sirens apparently so there's like hundreds of them um some are super old as well but you know you have to get to that level and once you're at that level then you can communicate you can open that dialogue so get down to that level get into doing the thing that they're into into their mode and then open dialogue because then what you have is a flow of communication now if we think about communication like this communication is moving particles from this end of space to this end of space and reciprocating that signal right that's all it is but if you've got particles going from one end of space and it's just hitting dead air you don't have a cycle of communication. You need to create a cycle. And the only way to create that cycle is to be on the same level. It's kind of like throwing a tennis ball against the wall. But if you go a few inches higher, there's no wall there, and you're just throwing it out into the abyss. It's never going to come back to you, right? So you got to be able to make sure that you're on the same level. This is super important. And that, my friends, is how you completely increase communication, like double. Now, a little tip as well is that if you really want to kind of communicate with your kid and they have issues with verbalizing or lexicon, then I would say use imagery like um, text messaging symbols, like emojis or drawing little cards or using like pecs and stuff like that, just to show um, how you can uh, 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 show things with, with pictures, basically. Like This is what a toilet looks like. This is what food looks like. This is what walking looks like. This is what sleep looks like and all that kind of stuff, which would be amazing. And um, yeah, you don't have to understand the game to play it and just ask them what they're doing and be interested in it. This is a great comment. So Amanda Atwood, thank you so much for putting this comment out there. You actually just participated to this amazing session we're having right now. Thank you so much for that. Um, and Mel, thank you so much for the for the love. I hope you're getting what you need out of it. It was lovely seeing you the other day. Um, and um, yeah, all right, let's move on, actually. Here are some people, again, who have been through some coaching with me, some training with me. Um, Judy, uh, this has been so wonderful. Explain, informative, and it helps. I wish I had this information years ago for myself and my children. Thank you, Dan, so much for being here. All of your help. I hope you have a wonderful week, uh, weekend. See, stuff like this, like, this makes me know that I'm doing the right thing, right? I'm helping the right people. Um, and then Susie is like, thank you for helping me learn how to be helpful and understanding for my three-year-old granddaughter. Amazing. See, I just like a see a grandmother coming to me, like a, a third party parent coming to me and like being like, Hey, you know, you know, the kid I'm looking after the kid I'm helping. I just totally understand them now because you just like help me. And I'm like, dude, this stuff, it warms my heart and makes everything that I do worthwhile. Right. Even the, all the ups and downs. Right. I get it. Okay, so this is the, th the third one. And actually, guys, I have something very interesting to tell you right at the end of this presentation. So don't go anywhere. Um, this is not the end. Uh, I've got something really interesting to talk to you about um, and something very special. So um, let's keep watching. This one is the... Um, the top hack to successful shopping trips that you need, okay? So this framework is the unthrowable event. And uh, the framework of the unthrowable event is very interesting. Um, how I started using this was, um, when I was a kid, I used, to, I used to love this, right? I used to, uh, <laughs> I was talking about this last time I did this presentation. So when I was a kid, um, I used to um, go to the store with my mum, and it was the 90s, and everything was smelly, and like nothing was organized. All the stores were kind of like, stuff was just, 
boxed on the floor and there was no shelves properly and there was not there was no freezer compartments what you had was like a freezer room within the store that you'd like walk through and it had like big plastic sheets that you walk through it was all kind of retro and crazy it was a great time to be alive but not really great for the environment anyway one of the things i remember is that to bribe me to get me to the store you skipped my comment ah oh, where did i skip skip your I... hi it's tucker from instagram hey tucker how's it going dude Loving the hair and beard, dude. So basically, my mom used to bribe me to go to the store. She'd be like, okay, dude, we're going to go to the store. I know you don't like it because of all the smells and the, uh, it's just a nightmare. Anybody takes an autistic kid to the grocery store to do your weekly food shop, like, you know the struggle. But she's like, don't worry. We'll get you one of these yogurts that you really like. And when we're home, you can have the yogurt. I'm like, okay, okay, let's do it. I'm like focused on this thing. I'm like, I'm going to get in and get this yogurt. And it was a thing I was like, just boom, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to get this yogurt. It's going to be great. And the yogurt was like this circular thing with an alien in the middle of it. It was like an alien toy in the middle of this like fruit yogurt. Like, a, a, And it was great. It was called like fruit, fruit or something. Fro uh, froyos or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember the, the exact name of it. It was great though. Um, the funny thing about it was Steffi works was actually had the same thing. She used to love the same yogurt when she was a kid. So, so this got me thinking, like when, later on in my life, I was like, huh, so you want to get your assistant kid to the store to get rid of, you know, it's an uncomfortable experience for them to go to the store, but it's, but you want to come back to a comfortable experience, which is for me having the yogurt, right? And then what happens before you go to the store really depends on the mood whilst you're in the store, because you don't want to be like, you know, having a big kickoff and a stink here and then going to the store, having a big old meltdown and coming home and it's all kind of crazy. So we created this thing called the sandwich method. I call it the sandwich method. So basically what happens is before you take your kids to the store, you get them really involved in something that they really love doing or they really like, it could be the special interest, it could be Minecraft, it could be playing a game, it could be anything. Hey, from South Africa, how's it going? And get them to enjoy it. So have a really good feeling. They're feeling really good, feeling great. And you say to them, hey, now we're playing the game or we're doing the thing that you really love to do. Next, we're going to the store just for a little bit. And then when we come home, you're going to do the same thing that you love doing before we left. Okay. So what you're doing, you're just sandwiching a negative experience in between two positive experiences. And this is the thing about long, long games. Okay. Nothing ever works short term. Okay. Nothing works short term. There's no quick fix for anything. Anybody who knows anything about diet culture, there is no quick fix. You can't just take a pill and all of a sudden, you know, you shredded, you know, like doing bodybuilding competitions. It doesn't work. It takes months of preparation, eating well, working out fitness plans, are long games, like anything else in the world. If it's worth having, if it's if it's successful, it's a long game, and this is a long game. If you implement the sandwich method every time you go to the store or you know, wherever you go, what will happen is you'll begin to kind of, the, the mindset of your autistic child or yourself will be and say like, okay, I'm going from something pleasurable to something a little bit uncomfortable, then go back to something ple pleasurable. So the bit in the middle gets smaller and smaller while the things on the outside that are pleasurable get bigger and bigger. And they will kind of create calls like this the sandwich where the filling is really, really small because the rest of it is enjoyable. That is a sandwich method and it's absolutely great. Now, another thing that annoys me about stores, but parents listen up. So the tips, um, this is the, the, the trip to store making it easier. So we know about the sandwich method, but I want to talk about kind of trigger tracking, okay? So I always used to go to the store near where I live called Morrison's. I don't know if anyone in the UK or Europe knows about Morrison's, but basically they have this huge deli counter at the back end. And the deli counter always has like chopped meats and coleslaw and all this kind of yucky, smelly stuff. Um, and it's just it's just horrible right at the back of the store. So every time I go to the store, I, I, I'd be knowing to me, smelling all this stuff and realizing I'm getting really triggered in the store and I'm freaking out. And my girlfriend's like, dude, like, what's going on? Why are you freaking out in the store? I don't understand. And then like, I'm, I'm like, I don't know. You know, it's like this thing that's happening. I just, I don't like the store. And maybe I thought, Hey, I just hate shopping centers or I hate sh grocery stores. But then I realized, Hey, it happens when I'm in the deli park. Cause I've been to the store at the time and I'm okay. So then I realized, Oh, if I make a diary of every time I get triggered and make a note of the things that are around me, I can then say, hey, if I'm in the store and I'm next to the deli counter, I'm going to get triggered. So I made a trigger diary that I'm not going to go near that part of the store. I'm not going to go to this place. I'm going to go to the things that make me, you know, that don't affect me in a negative way and all the things that are going to be good. That is key to successfully winning at anything you're doing in life when you're traveling anywhere and you're on the autism spectrum. So these are, again, are some uh, little comments from people. So Steve says, your video is really insightful. Uh, a parent with two kids have ADHD, one on the spectrum with autism, and the other was one point away from being on it. And it gives us a good look through the window of the types of scenarios and experiences that they're going through. And this is interesting. This is one of the most uh, valuable things that I love to do. Because I've lived this experience as an autistic person, I can tell you what it's like from this, this you know, 
viewpoint. And uh, Nadine is like, I've always enjoyed your videos and my daughter was diagnosed with autism level one and nobody is really working with us as of yet. Your life hacks are wonder uh, work wonder for her. Thank you so much. Absolutely amazing. And just, oh, I love it. So just do a quick recap, guys. So step one, we talked about solving anger issues, right? Remember that? Good. Step two, we increase communication, the pairing method. We'll talk about that and how I help Dr. Ali, right? And then step three we just did is the, uh, the sandwich method between the uh, between the negative, uh, uh, oh, sorry, each side of the negative uh, event. So I have a question for you guys. In life, you know, in, in, in life in general, what would be easier for you, okay? Would you take the information I've given you today and everything that you've learned so far, because this, this is not over, and try and figure out the best way to implement this, the most accurate way to implement it, and it might take you months, years, and you may not even get there because you're going on your own. You don't have anybody there looking for you in your corner. Or would you choose number two, where you go, hey, I've got a guide, I've got a coach, I've got a mentor, somebody who knows what they're talking about, can guide me in the right direction, who's going to save me time, money, and all that energy, because I can just rely on them to help coach me in the right direction to help get the best for my child, right? Or myself. So which is easier? Number one, go it alone and maybe never get there. Or number two, you know, find a coach and have somebody help you out. Let me know. Put um, the answers in the, uh, in the comments there. Give me a one or a two. Hey, Alex, how's it going? Sorry, guys, I'm drinking my water because like it's like a thousand degrees in this office. And my dog is like pacing around and he's taking stuff out of the bin. Give me a one or a two. Which one's easier? Okay, sorry, guys. A little bit of delay here to comment to number two. Okay, I get it, right? I get it. Number two, number two. Got it. See, you guys know it. It's a no-brainer because at the end of the day, what you don't want to do is how many times have you thought to yourself, oh, I need to go to the library and get that book. I need to go and research this thing, you know, and I don't have time, okay? Because time is so valuable. You, you got to think about this, right? You're, you're a mom or a dad or a parent in the autism spectrum, and you're trying to do a million and one things and then also research autism kind of coping strategies, doing all this stuff, right? And yes, of course, it depends on the coach, but somebody who knows what they're doing, like myself, you know, what you're trying to do is 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 shorten that time, that the money, you know, you could go to see a specialist and pay like $2,000. You go see another specialist, pay another $500. And you're like, by the end of it, you spent like five grand and you're still no wiser and you still have to do research, right? And so this is where this comes in. So I've got um, <laughs> another fun slide here. So what we shared with you today, guys, would fit in the back of this little compact car, right? This is kind of cute, isn't it? This little bed thing. But what I want to share with you is all of this stuff here, this stuff that we just pack on the side of this car. We don't have time because this car is this webinar, and I don't have enough space in this webinar. It's like this car is overloaded, right, <laughs> to show you guys this stuff. But I've got a very, very um, interesting thing to share with you. So is it okay with you guys if I spend, like, the next, like, five minutes showing you a special, like, uh, opportunity that I have or a special offer for you guys just for you because we're here right now on this uh, live? You know, it's, uh, you know, it's for you, and I made this for you. Um, and uh, yeah, I just want to uh, want to know. Give me a heck yes, Dan. I want to know. So I'm looking in the comments right now. Give me a heck yes if you want me to uh, to show take the next five to ten minutes to show you something very very cool that I prepared for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Still got some number twos coming in here. Yes, please, Kim. You got it, son. Yes, please. Katie. Yeah, of course. Of course. Okay. You guys are pumped. I'm pumped to show it with you guys. This is kind of exclusive. Fine by me. Okay, cool. And this is really, really, um, yeah, really, really exclusive stuff. Heck yes. It's coming in right now. Yo, love it. You guys are amazing. And also you should be proud, you know, to take the time out to attend a live webinar like this, to, to learn something, to better improve your life or somebody else's life takes a lot. And there is self care. And that definitely deserves a marriage because I'll tell you something, do you know, every animal in the world is, is, born with the ability to do the thing that they can use the most to survive. Like when a horse is born, it can run straight away. You know what I mean? When like a baby saber-toothed tiger is born, it has teeth and huge paws. It can like defend itself. When humans are born, they instantly cry, which is asking for help. We have inherently lost our, um, our you know, human definition of what we should do to survive and let's ask for help. And so I'm going to show you something right now uh, that's going to be awesome and uh, it's going to help. Yeah, it's the worst trumpet noise ever. But this is the Awesome Acceleration Academy. I've set up this thing. It's pretty much amazing. I um, I I don't take full credit for it. Me and my team have created the Autism Acceleration Academy of Triple A, and uh, yeah, it's uh, super awesome. And I'm uh, I'm very pleased to uh, 
<laughs> share this with you guys right now. So basically, the Autism Acceleration Academy is an online learning portal where you um, go in and uh, you can access it on your phone, you can access it on your computer, you can access it through a tablet, any way that you see possible, uh, laptop, whatever. Um, you can access the Autism Acceleration Academy once you have access to it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what's in the Autism Acceleration Academy, like what lessons are in there. It's all video, online video and downloadable PDF books. You have everything there, but we're going to go through it all right now. So I'm going to show you you know, the, the basics outlines of this course. So let's go through, okay? So the Autism Acceleration Academy, the first lesson we talk about is managing sensory needs and reducing emotional dysregulation or deregulation. Now this would be valued, I'm saying this is what I valued at, this is not where it costs, okay? This is just valued at $450, right? So say you had, say you came to me and said, Dan, I need you to talk to me about managing sensory needs in one-on-one coaching session and we're gonna do this whole course. This piece, this one course would cost 450 bucks, but that's not what I'm selling it for. That's not, that's not what I'm selling it for, right? So, then the second module, again, recognizing moods and emotions and reducing anxiety. Super important for parents, super important for people on the spectrum and anybody who's interested in reducing anxiety because this is a huge, huge uh, uh, disabling feature of autism, right? Is anxiety. It's probably the most crippling part of it. Now, again, this is valued at $450, right? Super, super um, uh, valuable stuff. But this is where it's valued at, not what I'm selling it for. So bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Um, again, we've got uh, a third module. It's living independently, including hygiene techniques. How many people are struggling to uh, make sure that their autistic kids or themselves understand the importance and the use of hygiene within uh, autism spectrum disorder? Again, this one will be valued at 450 bucks, um, but not what I'm selling it for. So the fourth one is socializing, school and relationships. Understanding socializing in school, academia, relationships, jobs, friendships, romantic relationships, all of that good stuff. You know, we cover it all within this module and it's valued at $450. Uh, and this, again, it's valued, not what I'm selling it for, guys. I just want to show you the, the you know, the, the value of what, what I'm actually uh, giving you guys here. And then teaching yourself effective communication or teaching you effective communication. This is super, super interesting. And, um, Valued again, 450, because when I teach this effective communication, this is more of a uh, more of a coaching one. This is so good, right? So all of this stuff comes within the Autism Acceleration Academy. Look at the value already. Look at all this, right? But this is not where it's going to be sold at. This is just the value. And then the last one here, teaching you self-advocacy, future-proofing. People are worried about the future of autistic people. What are they going to do when they grow up? How are they going to manage their needs when they're older? You know, and, and parents worry about this. I worry about this, you know, but we covered it. We've made a, uh, a program, a framework that you can follow that will help safeguard. So if we look at this here, the total value of all of these would be $2,700. But that's not what it's priced at, guys. I'm just showing you what it's valued at, right? And so, and I, I do actually have a question about this. Like if, if only if, look, let's put it this way. If you could get your yourself or your autistic child to reduce anxiety or uh, live independently, including all the hygiene stuff, would it be worth $2,700? I mean, yeah, of course it would be, right? I mean, it's a no, no brainer. If someone said to me, give me $2,700 and I'll help reduce anxiety and recognize moods and regulations for you to regulate your emotions, right? You'd be like, yeah, like, Absolutely. No. So the account, okay. So somebody just said that they, they just searched for the Austin awesome Social Academy and they can't find it. That's because it's exclusive for everybody on here right now. We're going to get to it. I'm going to get to how you can get access to this right now. So guys, the Autism Acceleration Academy is available for only $297, which is really, really cheap. And yes, I do have a payment plan. So if anybody, you know, thinks, oh, $297 is cheap, but right now I don't have the money to pay for it. There is a payment plan where you pay like $60 a month for a few months. Um, and I do have it and I'll show you how to do it right now. But wait, guys, there's more because I didn't want to just give you guys all of this stuff, right? I wanted to give you the best um, uh, stuff possible. So here we go. I also am throwing in for free because you're on the live right now with me in this, this webinar. I'm throwing in the worksheets, the now and next cards, daily charts, downloads, a support and school handbook PDF, which is this one here, access to the Autism Acceleration Academy Facebook with monthly live chats with myself and everybody who's on the uh, on the program, Century Handbook, Creating Environments for Century Bliss, which I'll show you a little sneak peek in a minute, relaxing music download for mums who need to, re to relax. There's actually, you know, relaxing music that comes with this as well. Uh, parents evening quiz. So if you're doing like a parents evening, or a one-on-one -on -one with a teacher of your child. Uh, there's a quiz sheet, the questions, what to ask, creation habit guide, and some extra resource bundles, right? So you get everything. All of this stuff is included. This is what it looks like. This is what the, the uh, Awesome Exploration Academy page looks like. Uh, and this is, what you, uh, this is what you get. So 
again, this is limited. We have a limited space because we want to, like you said, somebody just said they Googled it and they couldn't find it because we, this is like a, a, a first compass of bases. Um, this is pretty amazing. And it's probably the best thing we've ever kind of put out there right now for you guys. And it's really exclusive. You know, there's only 24 hours to get your hands on the software, $297. You can pay by PayPal. Like I said, you can set up, um, you know, a, a, a payment plan if you want. But if you go to theaspieworld.com forward slash a a a right now you'll be able to uh you'll be able to sign up right now and get this course and get access instantly to everything i just mentioned which is all of these here the managing sensory needs recognizing moods and emotions reducing anxiety living independently including hygiene school and relationships socializing techniques teaching you effective communication and teaching yourself self-advocacy for future proofing yourself with all these bonuses as well dude it's so worth it i Oh, I'm, I'm here to answer questions for the next like five or 10 minutes. But while we do that, I want to show you guys a sneak peek of uh, of what's going on with the, uh, uh, I want to show you like, inside one of the books. So give me a second. I'm going to, um, just going to grab this here and show you something. Okay. Uh, where am I now? Why haven't I showed? Okay. So this is... Uh, where am I? <laughs> so this is inside one of the books. <laughs> this is crazy. So this is inside one of the books. This is like the sensory book. So it basically goes through everything, you know, uh, all the bits, defining senses, shows about the senses, shows you like visuals and stuff like that. Like, you know, what behaviors, avoiding behaviors, seeking, hypersensitivity, all this kind of stuff, the auditory, what I can hear, you know, all of these things that you probably would spend ages and ages and ages trying to find in different books from all over the place. We've actually put them all into one guide. And not only that, we actually teach you how to create sensory safe spaces um and uh how to kind of make like sensory kits for going out you know like all this kind of stuff here um really really interesting and it's it's all available to you right now if you go to the awesome acceleration academy uh and uh yeah and you, you sign up so the askweworld.com forward slash triple a you can go there right now um can i pay you for personal one-on-one -on -one coaching yeah so katie if you can email support at the aspieworld.com i'll have one of my staff put it in the chat right now if you can email me uh, yes we do address food um uh in there because um it's part of um so food is part of uh sensory processing needs right so this comes under this one here so managing sensory needs so food comes under sensory needs oh we talk about this in here and if you need any more help from that, there will be um, in the Awesome Acceleration Academy Facebook monthly groups, we'll be doing live monthly Q&As. So if you have like, questions and stuff, you can ask me directly there, which is super awesome. So if you have any questions, anything about, you know, personal one-on-one -on -one support, um, you can uh, reach out uh, via uh, support at theaspieworld.com. Um, Katie, did I see your super chat? Ah, I am using a special program where I cannot see your super chat for some reason. Um, I will check it right now. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat, though. That's amazing. Um, my son won't hardly eat anything. Yeah, so that comes down to... So, uh, you... Okay, in the course... I, I covered this. I covered this in the course. I had the same thing. When I was a kid, I didn't eat anything. Um, and um, I, I actually... The, I think it was... I got to a point where I wouldn't eat anything at all, but then I had like one thing I could eat. Um, so I've been there, I've done that. My parents struggled with it, but we managed to work around it. And I actually cover this within this within the course. I actually go through this. I go through my own personal story and all that kind of stuff uh, about this. And um, yeah, so I, I do cover this, absolutely. Um, let me show you. I want to kind of try and show you uh, maybe, oh, my dog is being a pain in the bum, sorry. Um, I want to try and show you guys a an insight to the, uh, to the page. So I'm going to show you guys what the page looks like. Um, Give me just a second. I've lost my, where is my live page? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, hold on. So I'm just going to share screen. Uh, uh, where are we now? Okay, cool. So guys, I'm going to show you something here. So, um, Okay, so this is the page you go to to buy the course. Once you go there, you can set up uh, five payments of $69, or you can buy the whole thing in full. Um, and it basically outlines the mission and what we're doing, what we're trying to do here. Um, and you get kind of a bit of a taster for it. So, um, and uh, yeah, I uh, I think that, to be honest with you, the the amount of people I have on this right now who are like literally like just kicking butt and learning is just amazing. There's actually some uh, bonus video content in there as well. So we have um, Alyssa from SpeechWorks, who is a speech and language pathologist who talks to us a little bit about people who are um, uh, 
nonverbal uh, and how you can potentially get nonverbal uh, kids to to speak. And um, there's there's some really amazing bonus stuff. We I interviewed Steph, uh, one of my staff members, who um, who made like sensory living spaces uh, more accessible. Absolutely fantastic. So definitely, if you can, if you guys can get to uh, you know the aspiworld.com forward slash triple a right now you guys will have uh yeah you guys will just have a blast and i'm i'm excited with the the whole um uh monthly uh live chats within there it's just gonna be amazing and uh i'm, I'm very interested uh, to see who's there so food cutting hair nails yeah doctor look at you new shoes etc huge issues huge issues too absolutely i actually go through this um there is a, I, 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 there's a part of the course where I talk about those things. Like how, how do you get your child to go to the hairdressers? How do you get your child to go to the doctor? Right? Like, yeah, that, that I, I do cover all of this within this because what we did is I didn't just say, Oh, here's a bunch of stuff that I think is interesting. I actually asked everybody, um, who, who's messaged me. I get thousands of messages every single day, right? Of people asking me specific questions. So I thought, well, what's the best thing to do? I can't answer every single person back individually because I get hundreds of thousands of messages a month. So I was like, well, if I put them all into a course and I put them out there for a really cheap price that I, I know people can kind of, you know, do, uh, and make it accessible for everybody, then that's probably the best way to do it. So yeah. Wasn't there a video similar to this live stream? Yeah, absolutely. So this is uh, the third one I'm doing. Yeah, absolutely. So what's the, did a video has to develop speech and provide great resources? Yeah, absolutely. This is amazing. Um, and she runs, she's a professional, um, uh, speech and language pathologist. Uh, this is amazing. She blows my mind every single time we talk about like, uh, autism therapies and stuff that Alyssa does. Like seriously, the videos on our website are just incredible. So sure. So, I am gonna call it a day there, but guys, you have 24 hours. If you this video is gonna stay up for 24 hours on here. Now, if you want access to this, you can go to the aspiworld.com forward slash triple A and get access to everything I've, uh, I've put here for you guys. I love you. I hope you've learned something. You guys are amazing. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.